this is Didi uh, Geopolitics, a month ago to the day at the Center for Sh Strategic and International Studies. Yeah, I saw this too. Victoria F. the EU Newland promised they lay, promised they lay to Ukraine will allow the to accelerate the asymmetrical warfare that have been the most effective and that Putin is sure to face some nasty surprises. I don't know why they it worded weird to me. But it, it's, but aid. It's, the, it's aid. They wrote laid probably, you know, because we all don't get enough. <laughs> but it's aid. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to like laid. What? All right, so that's aid. Okay, that makes more sense. But anyway, the, 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 the most important quote from get to this, because I've seen this before, the most important quote is when they said Putin is sure to face some nasty surprises. So let's hear from her since I butchered it. Like, I don't know. It, it feel like it worded weird there. Let's hear what she said. With this money, Ukraine will be able to fight back in the East, but it will also be able to accelerate the asymmetric warfare that has been most effective on the battlefield. And as I said in Kyiv three weeks ago, this supplemental funding will ensure Putin faces some nasty surprises on the battlefield. Oh my God, it's, even, it, With it's this more evil when she says it. I'm, it's way more sinister when she says it. <laughs> I'm actually glad I played the video. <laughs> so you have any commentary on that before you wrap up? So that was a month ago. And there's another speech she gave uh, in Ukraine on this street. Giddy, giddy, smiling, saying, oh, Putin is in for some surprises. Like millions of people don't live there. <laughs> like it's just Putin by himself kicking it in Russia. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they're going to seek vengeance on him. But that's how they want you to think about it. <laughs> They don't want you to think about the fact that these are human beings. I mean, I've seen people uh, on Twitter celebrating that this happened. They think they're taking uh, down some great evil. Meanwhile, little kids were gunned down yesterday at a concert. It's spring is coming in. You know, in Russia, it's really cold. Moscow especially. So they all the concert was sold out. Over 6,000 people. Of just families going about their day. Now, imagine if this was reported in a way where uh, the Russian embassy warns all its citizens to get out of America, especially concert venues with over 40 people. And uh, this is a week before the American elections. And two weeks later, uh, there is a terrorist attack. How would you guys react? You know, look at how all of you reacted to 9-11. Oh, my God. Great tragedy. We got to go kill brown people in a country that had nothing to do with it. It, it. it was massive, right? Meanwhile, it's a joke to everybody that Russian innocent civilians got slaughtered yesterday. That's the point of cognitive dissonance we reached. And th this timeline, I hate this timeline so much. It's it's having me agree with the worst possible people. Uh, no, crazy. <laughs> Yeah, Andrew Tate had a good take on this, talking about how desensitized Americans are to Russian lives and uh, how dehumanizing all of the reactions have been. And I, I'm like, oh my God, Andrew Tate. Is I, I just accepted. People, people didn't even realize that it's not 2015 no more. Yeah. I accepted the, I accepted the political realignment. Like I'm not, I disagree with Andrew Tate on social issues. I am openly very liberal, uh, social. Uh, socially liberal on social issues. But because of Ukraine, because of Israel, Palestine, they created a completely new political dynamic in this country. Because the rise of the CIA leftist liberal, things have changed. So we got to realize that, all right, bro, there's these people who got ideas that we don't agree with, but at least they support. They least, that's how I view it now. I take it issue by issue. Like issue by issue. I'm like, all right, he's good on this issue. He's good on this issue. Like I don't even take it as a whole no more. Like, all right, let's form coalitions and let's get the right issues right. Because Things are so confusing right now. Even using terms like left and right is not even that accurate no more. Like, what the fuck? That, what does that even mean in America? Like, everyone's a rabbit right ring, ringer for the most part. Yeah. So, like, we got to take it issue by issue. But sorry, Zoe, I'll cut you off. Go ahead. You can continue your thought. No, and I, I just want to humanize Russians for a minute. You know, the, these are just people. Uh, we attach labels a, a, and think that somehow it's okay uh, to kill people. It's okay for them to experience terrorist attacks. But no, Russians are human beings. They didn't want any of this. Uh, it, the West has been at war with Russia for <laughs> centuries, even, uh, even though Russia assisted America in its civil war, in its revolution. Uh, that's all quickly forgotten because dollar is king and all the same uh, evil people 
all are involved in all the conflicts around the globe. Everything is connected. What's happening in uh, Niger, Burkina Faso, Mali, what's happening in Syria, what's happening in Israel, what's happening in Ukraine. They're starting uh, to send NGOs to Kazakhstan. Armenia has uh, been welcoming French troops. Uh, so this, this is ongoing. And uh, the CIA is plotting uh, more problems uh, on Russia's borders. And Russia knows that. And ironically, the day before this terrorist attack, a uh, uh, Russian government official, Peskov, came out and said, we are no longer in a special military operation. We are at war with the West based on the evidence. And that's what I want to leave off on is uh, just to always follow the evidence. Don't go for any headlines. Don't go for other people's takes. Don't think of the world as so black and white and bad guy, good guy. Learn history. Look things up for yourself. Look up declassified documents. Um, look up uh, the regions where the wars are happening and how they were before the CIA interfered. The but yeah. they, they, have, they have been programming us since before we was even born. I was just, I just remembered, I don't know if you guys remember this uh, movie called Toy Soldiers. When like the uh, action figures came uh, uh, alive and they had like a civil war amongst each other. The motherfucker, uh, uh, the bad guy always had a Russian accent. Yeah. All the, all, the yeah. all, all of our movies, bad guys have Russian. I, I don't. I haven't seen what you're talking about, but I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they have been programming us since children. They knew that they was going to go to war with uh, Russia. They knew that they wanted to throw a coup in Russia, and this is why Bill Clinton helped Putin get into power because they thought Putin was a bitch. <laughs> and thought he was just gonna give up his country, just give up all that power he had, let them throw all types of coups, let them steal all types of resources. But then when he took the power from he took that power that Bill Clinton gave him and the CIA gave him, he turned his back on the ass, like, do something. Uh, and this is where we are here right now because Putin right, is right, in right, office because of the because of the I, US. I, <laughs> Sorry to cut in, but um, it, after uh, the uh, Soviet Union collapsed, what I noticed was the bad guys in the movies had a drastic shift to Middle Eastern characters. Like, yes. who lies and everything. Th that just goes to show you they're telling you who to hate. Awesome. And, and I'm, a, I'm a comic book fan. I'm a big comic book nerd. I love, I, re I have read a ton of Marvel in my life. And you see the shift too. Like, reading Marvel is like, like almost like, reading through the history of U.S. propaganda. <laughs> like, you literally would see a ton of, just to your point, a ton of anti-Russian people in the 90s. And then during the war on terror, all of a sudden, a ton of Middle Eastern. Apps. There was a comic where the Punisher would find a ton of terrorists, for example. I'm like, man, this is some, I'm like, fuck, I like the Punisher, but this is some propaganda bullshit right here. And then now, recently, it's back to Russians now. Like, because I read a lot of recent comics. they back to Russians now. Like, in the, in the 2019, 2020 comics, there's a storyline where the Avengers fought the Russian version of the Avengers. Now, because the Russian version of the Avengers is now losing their mind. I'm like, fuck, you guys are propaganda. <laughs> but sorry, go ahead, continue your point, Zoya. No, I mean, no lie. I, I was a little kid, so I was relieved. I was like, oh, oh, good. They're not going after us. We get yeah. <laughs> People used to in America used to say the wildest shit to me. Like, why do you want to nuke us? I'm like, I'm just trying to have lunch, man. I, I, I want to because yeah, you man. guys know they changed. They because once I, I read, like they changed Iron Man's entire character. They gave they revamped his entire yeah. character origin because he, they the new the origin they used in the movie. What it came from a 2004 comic, I believe. The 2004 comic came out, and then the movie came out 2008, 2009. Don't quote me exactly on dates. Somewhere around that time. So they revamped his story and turned it to he was captured by terrorists. Like he was he was this guy traveling in the Middle East. He was captured by terrorists. Like they completely changed the storyline. So thank you for that example. That's a great one there. I, 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 I read it's, it's always a cycle. You you can never be out of the uh, conversation. It's just a matter of time when it's time to talk about you again, right? Because when the Muslims was the target, black people stopped being the target. But when uh, black people stop being uh, Muslims stop being the target, now we back at the Russians. Now we're not targeting the Russians. We're targeting the Chinese. Okay. Well, the black people want fucking you know uh, critical race theory and all that. It's all it's always a cycle. They will always circle back to you. Don't think that you're safe because you, you getting let out the conversation. They will always come back to you and find a way to oppress you and your uh your thoughts. 